Conference USA officials group. Here's the first carry for DeAndre Torrey. He scoots out left, has some blockers in front. Now he turns up field past the 40-yard line, and there's the explosiveness of a healthy DeAndre Torrey. Was banged up throughout the middle of this season, but he's already hit 1,000 yards. Moving the ball at will early on. Here's the second tailback. It's Ikaika Ragsdale as he gets inside the red zone before he's upended at the 18-yard line. North Texas balanced so far through the air on the ground, but either way, they're moving the football. Jake Roberts, the tight end in motion. Play action, that ball slipped out of Bonnie's hands. It's a live football, but he jumps right back on top of it before Jamal Ligon could get there in time. The sophomore linebacker was lurking for a potential fumble recovery. Robinson was the one in coverage, and his presence may have put that off a little bit from Brown as Ethan Mooney boots this right through the uprights, and North Texas strikes first. But it's a miserable game for the fans to sit in and watch some football, but it is a great game to play in. And the temperature is steadily dropping. So Austin Onda, we got to watch that, see if he has any more problems with grip on the ball. Definitely doesn't diminish exactly what this means, and that means a whole lot for the North Texas defense. The ball put on the ground by Dadrian Taylor, the primary kick returner for UTSA, and it looks like the Mean Green have recovered it. They have. Ethan Mooney's the one that came up with the football. The senior kicker with a fumble recovery. The only thing that would go more in their favor is they can punch it into the end zone here as Burns is in motion. Read option, Ani by himself on the keeper and he bounds his way inside the five yard line. Harmonson up ends him before he can get to the end zone, but a good gain on first down. Five yard line, Torrey to the left of Ani. And they give it to him, straight up the shoot, good blocking, Torrey fights his way to the one yard line. That should be enough to move the chains. Did not cross the goal line, but they'll have four more tries at it after that strong run. He is just enough to get first and goal. Here he goes, first try on first and goal. Nowhere to go for the UTSA defense, standing strong. Tremaine Bell, the second, was the first one in there. Tie for second in program history. Burns in motion, Torrey with the carry. Torrey with the touchdown. North Texas with a two possession lead here in the first quarter. Yeah, and Harris has made some market improvements on his throwing, but right there, boy, that, that was no way that uh, JT could have caught that. Sincere McCormick on his opening carry of the afternoon, UTSA's career rushing leader. Been a huge reason for the defensive turnaround, a defense that just a couple weeks ago was in the 100s in terms of rush defense. Now they are in the 50s, over 50 spots gained. As this is just a magnificent punt from Lucas Dean. He's done that before. Had a 74-yard punt, a school record early in the game last week against the Blazers, and now he flips the field and pins the Mean Green back inside their own five. The down by 10, and North Texas with the football. Ani to his left. Completes the pass, but nowhere to go. And off to Torrey. Nowhere to go that time. Right through the middle goes Jalen Haynes. He is fantastic on that defensive line. That senior out of Wharton makes a stop. Stack receivers to the right on first down. Now it's McCormick with a huge hole inside the 20-yard line before he's pushed out of bounds. And there's the quick striking ability of Sincere McCormick in this UTSA run game. And KD Davis did it right there. Third down and eight. Harris rolls to his right, takes off. And he has met short of the line to bring up fourth down and two. His scramble almost enough to move the chains, but North Texas able to adjust. What will be a 30-yard attempt. Career long of 51. He's made 20 of his 25 as he boots this one. A line drive kick is up and good. So UTSA on the board. Brings it back within a single touchdown for the Roadrunners here on this drive. Ragsdale the tailback. The offset tied in. They go with a little reverse. Bryson Jackson gets flattened behind the line of scrimmage. Corey Mayfield Jr. came out of nowhere. The honorable mention all-conference cornerback makes a play. Boy, Corey Mayfield, hey, you see this reverse coming. He gets right underneath those blockers and delivers a shot. 
Here's Ragsdale on the carry. Bounces out to the numbers. He's upfield. There's some positive yardage as the freshman tailback picks up a dozen. Not available against North Texas. Ani pressured up the middle, throws a strike to Pirtle. Pirtle bounces off a defender, fights his way to the 48-yard line, and he'll get some help past the 50 for a first down. Rule, the Carolina Panthers head coach. And so, man, just awesome uh, the program building that he's doing and then that 2-1-0 and what it means for his program. So North Texas elected the punt, and the punt was muffed. Could this be a second recovery for the Mean Green? Waiting for the call. Still no indication. The ball was dropped by Sheldon Jones on the recovery, or excuse me, on the punt return. First and goal, Torrey bounces outside, makes a man miss. Oh, what a move from DeAndre Torrey for his second touchdown. And he's all alone, second in program history. Motion to tight end. Pressure on Harris. Harris swallowed up for a sack. And the ball popped out, but UTSA recovers. Former Fryer making some noise for the mean. Green, that one almost intercepted. Gabriel Murphy had a mitt on it and could not reel it in. And if he would have, he may have still been running. Five wideouts. For UTSA, there is a penalty marker, maybe a free play on the way for the Roadrunners. This one connected downfield. It's JT Clark, the junior receiver, past the first down marker, and we'll see what the call is, but I believe Murphy jumped off sides. Did not want to give the ball back to the Mean Green with all the momentum. Now they look for the big play. Harris pressured off balance, throws it complete to Joshua Cephas at the first down marker. Best drive of the day so far for UTSA. Here's McCormick. He has plenty of room. Stutter steps his way inside the 15 before he's escorted out of bounds by Sean Thomas Faulkner. Cephas and Franklin to the top of the formation. McCormick is the tailback. Third down. Harris wrapped up by Murphy, but he somehow gets away and throws it out of bounds near side. Got it back to the line of scrimmage. So it will not be intentional grounding, but somehow he escaped within plenty of field goal range, but it would have made a much longer try than this one from 27 yards out. And that one right through the middle as DePlessis tacks on his second field goal of the day. Being one of those guys is getting an opportunity to play because of injury. So we're back to receive the punt. Remember the problems on special teams. This time it's put on the floor again, but Stower picks it right back up in a sigh of relief from UTSA, but a flip of the field position. Second down and 10 following the incompletion. Or Texas brings pressure. Harris steps up on the draw, past the 50 yard line, stays on his feet and he breaks loose. Inside the 30, Frank Harris off to the races. Inside the five and he's into the end zone. What a run from the quarterback, Frank Harris. And the QB draw goes for 69 yards and for six for the Roadrunners. These drives have been set up by those special teams, Miss Cues. They got to get a drive of their own going. Have not really had that all day today. As now Ragsdale jumps to the outside, stays on his feet, waits for a block to develop, and he gets one. Past the 45-yard line, slung down near midfield. There's an answer for North Texas as Ikaika Ragsdale gets off and loose. Look at this run by Ragsdale. He has met all kinds of mold getting to the outside. He has a first blocker and just jumps over an arm tackle. That's all set up by Ragsdale. Here in the frame. Third down. Ragsdale breaks loose inside the 20-yard line for another first down. Has really rallied around this Roadrunner squad. Here's Ragsdale. Ragsdale off the right hip. Ragsdale bursts forward, and he carries it into the end zone. 15 yards out. North Texas scores again and increases their lead on the undefeated Roadrunners. First down and 10 for UTSA. Let's see what they have for an answer. It may be Sincere McCormick. Look at the burst of speed that he has. He's been bottled up throughout the game. He's had a couple big runs, now up over 50 yards. Ball put on the turf, still loose. It's picked up by Murphy. 
Still rumbling inside the 25 yard line. North Texas gets the ball back. The third turnover and the third recovery for the Mean Green. On to number three in the backfield, DeAndre Torrey. And this time he's met in the backfield. How about Big Haynes getting in there and Torrey somehow oh escapes. You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me, DeAndre Torrey. He was stopped for a loss. Look at this replay. He is, he has him. And he's able to make a cut and get through the UTSA defense and score. That is so special. That is unbelievable. 31 points in the first half. All four touchdowns have come on the ground for North Texas. Third down and five. Pressure again. Ball dropped again, but Harris picks it up, and he's going to have a first down past the 35-yard line. That combination has certainly paid dividends for North Texas in the win streak. There's a big hit out of the secondary as well. John Davis comes flying in and lays a lick on Zakari Franklin, but Franklin holds on to the rock. Harris. Dragged down. Did he get to the line? The spot, so he needed the 31. They're marking him at the 32. KD Davis and Tyreek Davis were the ones that dragged him out of bounds as we await the, the official call. Is the runner is short of the line again. The first down, And they're going up against the team that's built for this type of game in North Texas that runs the ball so efficiently. Dion Noble gets in there to stack up McCormick behind the line of scrimmage. Loss of a yard and a half for Sincere McCormick on his first tote of the third quarter. Couple switches up front for North Texas on the offensive line. Doesn't matter, they go right back to Torrey on the ground and he has a first down inside the 25 before he's escorted out of bounds. No loss of yardage. Here goes Ragsdale. Ragsdale straight up the middle, reaches for the end zone. He's in. North Texas tacks on another one. Something happened with his shoulder when he stretched out. I'm just guessing at this point, but would be the reason why he's been replaced with Atkins. That was the final play of the first half for UTSA. Here's a completion to Zakari Franklin. The junior makes the grab, and it's a first down. It's North Texas took advantage. Atkins can't get away from Murphy. Dropped again for a sack all the way back to the 15. And so far, they've been dominated in this one. Adei. Another one. We talked about his explosiveness. There it is on display. North Texas breaks it wide open with a 42-yard run from Ayo Adeyi. It really does seem like that this magical run is coming to a close. Still a lot of game left to play, but if that continues to happen, it may not be that long until the, the perfect run has come to a close. Caleb Colvin with a big sack. Pressure off the edge, it's Murphy again. Grayson Murphy with another sack. And the pass rush is relentless for North Texas here in the third. Third down and long for North Texas. Ani steps up into the pocket, delivers a strike over the middle. That's a first down. Jake Roberts with a reception, and the freshman reels it in. It was 17 <laughs> to 13 because it's been all North Texas. Ani wants it all, uncorks this one deep. That one caught. Lyles. For the touchdown, no, they call him short at the one yard line. I thought he was in. Lyle's shaken up after the play, but what a grab from the red shirt freshman from El Paso. Just won the snap it, they get it off in time. Ball put on the turf. Did UTSA recover? They did. And the Roadrunners get it back. First turnover of the day forced by the Roadrunner defense. What yeah, a season he's had. Yeah, of course, and they're going to have to rely heavily on him next week, so it doesn't surprise me that he is. Here goes Brady off to the races. Brendan Brady battling injuries throughout his career, and he's all the way down inside the 40-yard line. How about that for the senior from Sabolo, Texas? Four wideouts for Atkins in the shotgun. Steps up near side, throws a dart. And he completes it to Clark on the sideline. First down, and the drive continues for UTSA. You'd have to think it is four down territory still. Atkins pressured right up the middle. North Texas just doesn't let off the gas. 
Grayson Murphy for his second sack today. At one point in this ball game, haven't scored in the second half, and this kick is on the money from Hunter DePlessis. No surprise there, and finally the Roadrunners on the board by pulling up their bootstraps and getting back uh, in this thing so that they can be bowl eligible. Here goes Io Adegi off again, past the first down marker and all the way to the 38-yard line. Definitely had every opportunity to win it, and it's surprising uh, that it could be the ones that you almost win that absolutely sparks the fire for this team. This man has sparked a fire for that offense, Austin Ani, down near the 40, and he's slow to get up. Including Torrey in the slot. They go his direction, and he catches it over the middle for a first down. Loses his lid. No matter how they substitute the guy, the running game continues to be successful. Back to Ragsdale on the ground. Why go anywhere else? That ball might have popped out. UTSA thought it did, but Ragsdale holds on to it. Actually, UTSA came up with the football. The call on the field was confirmed. It is UTSA football from the 20-yard line and a new quarterback in as Eddie Lee Marburger enters the ball game. He throws a strike near side, complete for about eight yards. Only three of those have been recovered, but all three resulted in touchdowns early in the game for North Texas. How about this throw from Marburger? Well, there's some excitement for UTSA fans out there. Completes it over the top to Bradley in a quick strike from the true freshman. His first touchdown of his collegiate career.